Alright guys, today we're diving into the world of Catios, a super-fast Linux distribution designed for performance. Whether you're a gamer, a developer, or just want a snappy OS, CatchyOS has got you covered. It's built on the Arch Linux Foundation, known for its bleeding-edge software and customization options. But don't worry, Catios makes it easy to get started, even if you're new to Linux. First things first, head over to the official Catchios website. Insert Catchios website URL here. You'll find all the information you need, including download links and documentation. Don't worry, we'll walk through everything together. Now, let's gather our tools and get this installation party started. Before we install Catchios, we need a couple of things. First, you'll need a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage. This will be our trusty sidekick for installing Catchios onto your computer. Make sure it's empty or backed up because we'll be formatting it, which means erasing everything on it. Next up, we need the Catchios ISO file. This is basically an image of the operating system that we'll put onto our USB drive. Head back to the Catchios website and download the latest stable version. Don't worry, the website has clear instructions on where to find it. Once you have your USB drive and the ISO file ready, we can move on to the next step. Now let's prepare that USB drive. We're going to format it, which basically means wiping it clean and getting it ready for Catchios. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. There are a bunch of tools you can use for this. One popular option is Rufus, a free and easy to use program available for Windows. If you're on Linux or MacOS, you can use built-in tools like Disks or Disk Utility. No matter what tool you use, the important thing is to format the USB drive to FAT32 and choose the MBR partitioning scheme if it's available. This ensures that your computer can boot from the USB drive. Once the formatting is complete, we're ready to move on to the exciting part, getting Catchios onto that USB drive. With our USB drive prepped and ready, it's time to put the Catchios ISO file onto it. This is a crucial step in setting up your new operating system. First, make sure you have the Catchios ISO file downloaded. You can usually find this in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. This process is called burning the ISO. Essentially, we're transferring the operating system files onto the USB drive so it can be used to install CatchyOS on your computer. Don't worry, we're not playing with fire here. It's a straightforward process that anyone can do. Just like with formatting, there are a few different tools you can use for this. Each tool has its own unique features, but they all get the job done. Rufus, which we mentioned earlier, can also handle burning ISOs. It's a popular choice because of its simplicity and reliability. Other popular options include Etcher and Unit Bootin. Both of these tools are user-friendly and widely used in the tech community. These tools are available for Windows, Linux, and MacOS. So no matter what operating system you're currently using, you can find a compatible tool. It's important to choose the right tool for your operating system to ensure a smooth process. Open up your chosen tool, whether it's Rufus, Etcher, or Unet Bootin. Each of these tools will guide you through the process step by step. Select the Catchios ISO file you downloaded earlier. This is the file that contains all the necessary data to install Catchios. Next, choose your USB drive as the target device. This tells the software where to put the ISO file. Double check that you've selected the correct drive. It's always a good idea to make sure you're not overwriting any important data. You don't want to accidentally erase your important files. Once everything is set, take a moment to review your selections. When you're ready, hit that start or flash button. This will begin the process of burning the ISO to your USB drive and let the tool do its magic. You'll see a progress bar indicating how much time is left. This might take a few minutes, depending on your USB drive speed. Faster drives will complete the process more quickly. Once the process is complete, you'll have a bootable USB drive with Catchios ready to go. Congratulations, you're one step closer to experiencing Catchios. All right, with Catchios on our USB drive, it's time to boot our computer from it. This is an exciting moment because we're about to dive into a new operating system that promises speed and efficiency. This allows us to run the Catchios installation process. The installation wizard will guide us through the necessary steps to get everything set up properly. First, shut down your computer completely. Make sure all your work is saved because we don't want to lose any important data during this process. Plug in the USB drive and turn your computer back on. 
This step is crucial as it prepares your system to boot from the USB drive instead of the usual hard drive. Now here's the tricky part. We need to access the boot menu. This menu is essential because it lets us choose the device we want to boot from. This menu lets you choose which device to boot from, like your hard drive or our USB drive. Navigating this menu correctly is key to starting the installation process. The key to access the boot menu varies depending on your computer's manufacturer. It's a good idea to check your computer's manual or look up the specific key online. Common keys include F2, F10, F12, Delete, or EC. These keys are usually pressed during the initial startup phase of your computer. You might see a message on your screen during startup telling you which key to press. Pay close attention to this message as it appears only briefly. Once you're in the boot menu, select the option for your USB drive. This tells your computer to start up from the USB drive where CACIOS is stored. It might be listed as UEFI, your USB drive name or something similar. Make sure to select the correct option to avoid any booting issues. Now just hit enter and let's get CACIOS up and running. This is the final step before we can start exploring all the features and benefits of CACIOS. Enjoy the journey. Okay guys, if everything went smoothly, you should see the CACIOS welcome screen. This is the first step in our journey to explore this powerful and efficient operating system. You're now running CACIOS directly from the USB drive. Pretty cool, right? This live session allows you to test out the OS without making any changes to your current system. Now, let's get it installed on your computer. This will give you the full experience and performance benefits of CACIOS. Double-click the Install CACIOS icon on the desktop and follow the on-screen instructions. The installation wizard is user-friendly and will guide you through each step. You'll be asked to choose your language, keyboard layout, and time zone. These settings ensure that your system is tailored to your preferences and location. Next up, you'll partition your hard drive. This step is crucial as it determines how your disk space will be allocated. This is where you decide how much space to allocate to CACIOS. You can choose to dedicate the entire drive or just a portion of it. If you're new to this, don't worry. The installer provides helpful tips and default settings that are safe for most users. CACIOS offers an erase disk option, which is the easiest and safest way to go for a clean install. This option will remove all existing data and set up CACIOS from scratch. Once you've set up your partitions, you'll create a user account and set a password. This account will be your primary access to the system. This will be your login for CACIOS. Make sure to remember your username and password, as you'll need them to access your system. Make sure to choose a strong password that you'll remember. A strong password helps keep your system secure from unauthorized access. And that's it. You've successfully installed CACIOS. Enjoy exploring your new operating system and all the features it has to offer. With CACIOS installed, it's time to make it your own. CACIOS comes with a minimal desktop environment, so you can customize it to your liking. The first thing you'll want to do is connect to the internet. Click on the network icon in the system tray, choose your Wi-Fi network, and enter the password if prompted. Now you can start installing your favorite applications. CACIOS uses a package manager called Pacman to install software. It might sound intimidating, but it's actually quite user-friendly. Open up a terminal and type sudo pacman s firefox to install the Firefox web browser, for example. You can replace Firefox with any other package you want to install. Section 8. Exploring your new system. Congratulations! You've successfully installed CACIOS on your PC. Now it's time to explore your new system and see what it can do. CACIOS comes with a pre-configured selection of software, including a web browser, a text editor, and some system utilities. You'll find everything you need to get started right out of the box. One of the great things about CACIOS is its speed. You'll notice that your system boots up quickly, applications launch in a snap, and everything just feels snappier and more responsive. Don't be afraid to experiment and customize your system to your liking. You can install new themes, icons and extensions to personalize your desktop environment. Section 9. Troubleshooting tips. While the installation process is generally smooth, you might encounter some hiccups along the way. Don't worry, we've got you covered. If you run into any problems, the first thing you should do is check the CACIOS documentation. It's a treasure trove of information and covers a wide range of topics, from installation to troubleshooting. You can also find help and support from the CACIOS community. 
there are active forums and chat rooms where you can ask questions and get assistance from experienced users. Remember, the Kachios community is known for being friendly and welcoming, so don't hesitate to reach out if you need help. Section 10. Joining the Kakios Community Speaking of the Kakios Community, it's a great place to connect with other users, share your experiences, and learn more about Linux. You can join the official Kakios Forum, participate in online chat rooms, or even attend local meetups and events. The Kakios Community is a vibrant and welcoming space where you can learn from others and contribute to the project. By joining the community, you'll not only get help when you need it, but also become part of something bigger. You can contribute to the development of Kachios, help other users, and share your knowledge and passion for open source software. Section 11. Conclusion, happy caching. So there you have it guys, a complete guide to installing Kachios Linux on your PC. As you've seen, it's not as daunting as it might seem, and the rewards are well worth the effort. With its speed, stability, and customization options, Kakios is an excellent choice for both Linux newcomers and seasoned users alike. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. So grab your USB drive, download the Kakios ISO, and dive into the world of high-performance Linux computing. You might just be surprised at what you can achieve. Until next time, happy caching.